Hey, flimsy lunch tray here uh, with you again, once again. You know, I'm so blessed um, <laughs> with the the Massachusetts, and we're not going to be talking about um, a battle within the Massachusetts today, uh, but we're going to be talking about uh, the commander skills and what I use on my Massachusetts build. Um, some of you may be wondering. Um, now, granted, I'm, I'm giving I'm doing this video right now, even though wargaming is in the midst. Uh, reworking the commander skills with going from 19 to 21 points as well as adding in more skills and changing the value of certain skills so I'm not sure how long before this video is uh, outdated but regardless I thought I would just go ahead and do it because I wanted to share it since I have um, a captain at a 19 point so I'm going to tell you how I spent my first uh, 10 commander skill points and then the, how you choose the rest would be up to you if you want to build similar to mine. This is just my opinion of what I like to do with the Massachusetts. Um, so that first uh, skill point, you're going to want to take that towards priority target. Um, it's really helpful, especially in a battleship. Uh, it tells you if anyone's aiming at you, you know, if you want to get uh, all your guns so you show a little more side at a target, you can if you're not being also targeted um, by an enemy battleship, for example. It uh, also gives you the valuable skill uh, if you're kind of pushing in since Massachusetts is a brawling type battleship um, and there's a destroyer you know that's lurking around and all of a sudden you see the prior target go from one to detected, one to detected, one to detected. Um, you can pretty much guarantee that he's uh, lining up torps um, and firing them at you um, so then you can take some evasive maneuvers which in how I play the Massachusetts is super valuable so just a ridiculously uh, overpowered skill, especially for one uh, skill point, it's, it's great. Next, uh, you're going to want to take Adrenaline Rush. You always, 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 always want to take Adrenaline Rush when it comes to your battleships um, because it increases the reload speed of all your armaments as your ship's health pool decreases. So, as we talked in the video, um, the Massachusetts, um, you know, I was describing why I didn't just use a heal um, when I could have easily used a heal properly at that time. It's because I wanted that slightly faster reload. Um, so Adrenaline Rush is a very good uh, option to take. Uh, then I took uh, basic fire training, which improves the effectiveness of main guns with caliber F2 and including 139mm. Secondary battery guns and AA mounts, so your reload time is decreased by 10%, while your continuous damage uh, with by AA mounts uh, increases 10%. Uh, granted, we know that the AA mechanics with CVs in the game currently right now is broken, even though Wargaming says it's perfectly fine, but you and I know what's up. Uh, then I take Advanced Fire Training, um, because it extends the firing range of your main battery guns, with caliber up to and including 109mm, as well as secondary battery guns, and increases the efficiency of your AA mounts. So your main range with the secondary guns uh, extends out to 20 by 20%, so in the Massachusetts when you're taking uh, the secondary signal flag, which is spacing what that is. Yeah, Mike Yankee So 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 X6. <laughs> um, you're gonna get a 11.3 kilometer range with the Massachusetts, so that's really good. And then also your damage from your AA shell explosions is gonna be increased by 15%. Now you may notice that why I don't take Concealment Expert. Um, and that is because Massachusetts for me simply is she, she's a brawling battleship. Like that's that's how you play her. So ideally you're, you're going to be playing uh, closer to your secondary range. Um, which right now my Concealment, we have the camo, and do I have... I mean I take Concealment uh, System Modification 1 um, as a caveat here just because these two just don't make a lot of sense, uh, but we have the Concealment uh, by C to 14.5, uh, which if we took Concealment Expert, uh, that would drop us down to maybe 13, roughly, something like that, maybe it's a little more. <laughs> Math was never my strong suit. When I watch this video um, before publishing it, I'll be like, yeah, that, that's exactly this, why was it so hard for you to think in the time being? So, I don't take Concealment Expert just because you you want to be close to the secondary brawling range. And because of that, you're going to be detected most of the time. So for me, it's not worth spending for Commander Skill Points. 
when most times I'm going to be playing underneath um, that detectability range anyhow. Um, and then how, whatever you want to use your next nine points for, whatever order you can. Uh, for myself, I actually I went for preventative maintenance. Um, because I'm playing the Massachusetts more in a brawling um, way, a brawling style, um, I want to reduce the risk of my main turrets uh, being incapacitated. Um, very rarely have my engines ever been incapacitated. Maybe that was by a torpedo, um, you know, which also might affect steering gears. If I'm maybe if I'm steering, uh, I'm kiting away from an enemy and they hit me right in the uh, the steering. Um, you know, in Massachusetts, doesn't have torpedo suits, but I pretty much just take it for uh, the main turrets, just because. I mean, I still have them get knocked out, but in having that 30% uh, negative 30% chance less that they're going to be incapacitated, um, I really want to do that since I, I brawl with battleships, I do drive-bys on them, uh, so on and so forth. I, I don't want to have to worry about using my repair party consumable uh, for my main guns being knocked out when I'd rather use and save those for fires or floods. Uh, then after that I saved up and I went for yeah, the basics of survivability. Um, and to me survivability experts just it's not worth it when I can get more out of the basics of survivability uh, <laughs> because you're accelerating repairs to modules, firefighting, and recovery from flooding so it's a negative 15 percent uh, which is quite nice so I think um, when you also take again the signal what am I talking about right now okay I'm spacing this bad right now so we were just looking at what again yeah, uh, time of repair, fire extinguishing, and recovery from flooding. Um, it decreases uh, the duration of uh, the fire, uh, which is quite nice. So when I take, there's a signal that I take. Yeah, wow, I am I'm being such a blonde right now. Um, and you take with both of these, you can get down to like I think it's like 34 seconds. Um, and that's really quite nice since you're brawling more with the Massachusetts, so sorry for spacing there. And then uh, after that, uh, we took the expert loader. Uh, because when you're pushing in, you're dealing with destroyers a lot, I like to be able to switch from armor piercing to HE, just because it'll more effectively deal damage out on them. So this is my uh, crew commander setup on my Massachusetts. Um, if you have questions about it, please let me know. I mean, I know one of the things uh, some players like is they like to have um, the extra heal. Um, so you have five heals. I mean, very rarely have I had times like, oh, I wish I would have had that fifth heal. Um, no, not really. Um, I know I could have taken that versus uh, this, but I thought for myself, I would just I wanted to take this uh, endurance skill. Um, just because there's there's nice perks within it and I don't take fire prevention um, with the Massachusetts I mean she's not a large battleship like uh, the Amato uh, the Montana um, or maybe even as large as the Iowa um, just because I rarely ever get three fires now the thing to keep in mind with this though is and I didn't know this for a long time is that even it says you know the maximum number of fires on a ship is, redu is reduced to three right but how this skill comes more into play is is that on your ship um, there's four places where you can uh, be set on fire um, with this battleship so you can have your deck set on fire um, your bow set on fire and then two places on your superstructure can get set on fire what the fire prevention skill does is it takes away uh, one of these two options uh, and it just combines it to one so you can only have one fire set on your superstructure um, because a lot of HE spammers when they're shooting at you um, I'm gonna say probably like 80% of, or maybe it's more I don't know uh, when players are firing at you with HE um, they're trying to set your superstructure on fire so you go from having two fires here to one 
Um, not because not a lot of players are like, oh, I've got the superstructure set on fire. Um, now I'm going to start aiming at the deck or the bow and start setting on fire. So the advantage of fire prevention is only one fire on your superstructure instead of two. So after I learned that, that was kind of, um, you know, that was like, hmm. But if I were to take that, I would essentially, I'd be giving up this um, and then I'd have to give up one of these two options, which for myself, um, I like, you know, having uh, a 15 second uh, reload time uh, with my captain, Benjamin Blackwell, uh, to deal with destroyers. So if I'm going to take them on, on my Montana, uh, yeah, I want to have fire prevention just because she's so large and can, you know, Smolensk. Uh, all the HE members in the game can do a lot of damage on her. So for myself, this is my build. So again, if you guys have questions on it, please let me know. Um, again, this is just my opinion, so this isn't what you should or should not do. So you're fine to disagree with my opinion and how I have uh, my Massachusetts build up. But for my playing style, this fits me perfectly. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. If you haven't already subscribed, thanks so much. And until next time, take care.